hey guys welcome back to my channel if you have audio things and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a stretch layer using adobe photoshop without any further ado let's get started then go to your file menu select new then we are going to use 1080 by 1080 pixels and our resolution we are going to make it 300 rgb for social media posts then you click on grid so now the first thing i'm going to copy this color code ctrl plus c to copy then go to your resource file import this background then go to your color select solid color then ctrl plus v to paste change the blending mode to color the next one we are going to apply a gradient then select this one now apply black color click ok then over here then change it to black then you can leave it like this then make sure that the opacity of this one is zero percent so then the angle leave it at 90 percent and the scale make it five i mean three five two then check on this reverse you can see the differences all right then we are going to okay now i'm going to group it together all right so the next one then we are going to bring in our test so first i'm going to copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then select your test tool over here then ctrl plus v to paste then remove the character spacing to zero percent and we are going to use the font over here Ctrl plus C to copy then Ctrl plus V to paste then increase the font size And now, then we are going to skew it something like this. I'm going to change another font. Let's see. In this font here, I'm going to change the font to Queen Ring. So So here is the name of the font. All right, then I'm going to duplicate this one. Control plus J to duplicate and drag it down. Then select the first one, and we are going to apply test effect then go to your test and first select the blending option and now we are going to select stroke then change it to white and the size we are going to make it five then the position then change it to center then the bloody mode normal the opacity leave it at 100 percent i'm going to change the bloody mode to change it to multiply 
So color this, then, and we are going to click on this overwrite. I mean overprint. So you check it, and the fit color. Then you leave it this way. All right. Now we are going to shadow. Go to your drop shadow. Then this is the color you will use. And the distance. Make it eight, zero, and two percent. Then the noise four percent. So following the setting over here. Now go to the second drop shadow and follow the setting over here. All right. Then click OK to apply it. Now go to the second one and go to your blending option now we are going to apply a drop shadow using the same setting over here then the opacity we are going to reduce it to 55 and the angle 90 percent I mean the angle here we are going to change it to minus one minus one two six then the distance we are going to make it 13 and the spread is zero percent the size then five percent the noise four percent so okay like this then click to apply it then use your arrow key then to bring it down this way and we are going to apply a stroke then apply a stroke five percent then change it to gradient and we are going to apply white color Okay, so follow this setting here and the blending mode, change it to normal. See, normal, then check on this over print and over here, use this gradient that we apply and this scale, then apply 84, I mean 86, 86%. Then so now we are going to click OK to apply it. Then sorry, we are going to remove this drop shadow. Remove the drop shadow. Then and leave only the stroke here. Then click OK. So this is what you will have over here. All right. So the next we are going to apply then stroke cycle. Then we are going to import this image something like this is okay and reduce the size this way then go to your cycle and we are going to draw a cycle like this then rotate it this way you can reduce the size something like this then 
we are going to apply a stroke then our stroke size should be four percent then the position center and leave this one normal then the opacity 100 percent then we are going to change this color from gradient to color over here and leave this overprint check okay so the next we are going to apply outer glow then use this setting over here then the bloody mode linear light the opacity we are going to leave the opacity at 100 percent then and the spread one percent and the size here then leave it at 43 percent and leave this range at 29 percent so if you want this if you want to increase the spread you you can increase it the way you want it so if you can use one then two is okay you can make use of two all right then and you click okay to apply it then this is the outcome of it all right now we are going to apply a layer mask on this one then select your brush and we are going to erase somewhere around here something like this okay now select the image apply your layer mask select your brush and we are going to clean off this part okay so it's all right like this and the next we are going to do then we are going to draw a rent angle around here Then apply a color from here. Then this is the color we are going to use. We can make it more dark like this. We'll get a color from here. Something like this. All right. Now we are going to rotate it or you skew it so anyone you can use skew then right click apply skew this way just a little now we can now rotate it like this then position it somewhere around here So now I'm going to rasterize it like this. Then go to your blending option, select bevel and emboss. Now use emboss, emboss and smooth. Then our depth make use of 209 and the size 5 the angle here you leave it minus 126 and the altitude here you change it to 42 then we are going to change the contour to this then leave the rest now we are going to apply ok so having done this one, then we are going to bring our test now. Then copy this one, Ctrl plus C to copy. Select the test tool, 
Ctrl plus V to paste. We are going to change the font to Brittany Signature. Then we are going to apply test effect on this one. Then go to your blending option. Now, then select bevel and emboss. Use inner bevel and smooth. Then change this one to 32. Then 0%. The angle we leave it this one and remove the contour normal here then leave the setting go to stroke then we are going to change the color of the stroke something like this or you can make it darker right now then the size 8 it is too much so make it four percent and position let make it outside then by this we can increase the size to eight percent then adjust this one think like this is okay then click to apply then we have to go to color overlay then change this one to white and the opacity you leave it 100% then go to drop shadow and here we are going to make use of this setting over here and click ok to apply it now reduce the size rotate it this way then i'm going to reduce the stroke size four percent is okay right so the next we are going to copy the name Control plus c to copy then select your test tool using t on your keyboard for shortcut and we are going to make use of this font over here then we have to rotate it Then change the font color to yellow or orange color. Then come over here to copy this one. Ctrl plus V to paste. And we are going to change the font to this font over here. reduce the font size and rotate it reduce the font size it's okay then apply character spacing something like this the next then we are going to copy this one over here. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then draw a cycle. Cycle. 
select your test tool then we are going to remove the crater spacing by 0% and the font size we are going to reduce it something like this then ctrl plus v to paste increase the font size okay so right now we are going to remove this one delete it and reduce the size so like this all right then we are going back to our test to copy this one Ctrl plus V to paste then change the color to this duplicate this one go back to your test to copy this one select the test tool, highlight it and ctrl plus v to paste then increase the character spacing a little So this one we are going to change the font to Latina. Also change this one. Then copy this one, control plus C to copy. Select your test tool, Ctrl plus V to paste. Then we are going to change the fonts to this. Then break it and close the space. All right increase the size so the next we are going to copy the location ctrl plus v to paste And change the font color to white and we are going to change the font so over here is the font we are going to use ctrl plus v to paste then open the space and also we are going to change this font to the font here yeah then make it semi bold semi bold or this one make it regular and this one make it semi bold then this one you can clo close the character spacing by 40 percent all 
right so the next we are going to do going to your resource documents and we are going to import this one reduce the size somewhere around here I will use that as a guideline then I'm going to duplicate this one over here to duplicate it somewhere around here then go back to your resource file and import this one then duplicate this one ctrl plus j to duplicate and i'll position it over here then rasterize it double click I'm going to change the color of this one to this color over here. Okay, then you apply it. Then the last thing, copy this one, Ctrl plus C to copy. Then select your test to using T on your keyboard. Then change the font color to white. Now reduce the size. Rotate it vertical. Something like this. Then you can open the character spacing. okay then duplicate it and drag it over here so here is the, uh, the outcome of it all right guys thank you so much for watching so we have come to an end of this video if you like it please kindly subscribe turn on the notification bell so that you will not miss any of my video at any time i upload a new video and if you need any of my flyer please you can go to the fiber link in the description to order any of your flyer and if you want to optimize your video please there is a link provided in the description you can use my tubebuddy link to create your tubebuddy account and optimize your channel Thank you so much for following.